Sega. The Genesis Classics. We're on Xbox Series X diving into this collection of awesome games. Just absolutely delightful titles. So what's really, really cool about this package is that you kind of are in a living room that is kind of reflective of maybe what a kid back then might experience. I think minus the posters and the Sega branded clop or clop clock I would imagine. So yeah, we've got input options, we got multiplayer, and we got an insane games library of some of the greatest Sega titles ever created. I mean, look at these things. Now, it's hard to kind of go over the, you know, details of like performance and everything like that because there's so many different games, and I don't know if it's like a blanket type upgrade across all of them. I think it's like 1080p, and yeah, I don't really know too much past that. But let's start with something a little bit fun. Obviously, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I think it's the most like classic and great option to kind of choose to go off the bat here. <laughs> but yeah, you can just play these incredible old games all available here. It's, it's kind of exciting. And there's like, you can just pause it, and then there's different options to kind of tweak the experience. And it, it's just, it's really, really cool to have all of these games in one package. And I, you know, I don't think people necessarily talk about this collection. Which is a bit of a shame because it's actually really well done and it's got so many good options to play you know it's just yeah it's it's awesome <laughs> that's that's the biggest part of it because if you like the the genesis and i think it's called the mega drive uh collection in you know other parts of the world but here it's the, the genesis and i actually had the genesis back in the day i had sonic the hedgehog I had, I think, Crash Test Dummies or something, and some other ones as well that we used to play. And like a, a DC... Oh, I forgot to jump through the rig, my bad. Uh, like a DC kind of fighting game. But we're gonna kind of back out of that. I guess we can go up here, and you can do like, you can do full screen if you want, uh, from the, you know, obviously from the screen you're playing here. Or you can do input settings, you can change the emulator stuff, pixel scaling, you know, emulator style full stretch, the border art, it's kind of a, just a nice selection of options that you can choose from. But let's play something else. I actually went to the opening of a cool, you know, bar arcade here in, in where I live called Greta. And one of the games I spent my time playing at that place uh, was really Goldeneye. Or Goldeneye. <laughs> I wish it was Goldeneye. No, uh, Golden Axe. And strangely, I got into Golden Axe more than I ever did before. Because I did play it before then. But I was just kind of like really digging it that night. And I was like, Golden Axe! It'd be pretty cool for them to bring this back. I think they actually, there was like a remastered Golden Axe they were working at at one point. Or remake or something. But Golden Axe. Wow, I'm getting just absolutely hit up by these guys. Ow! Could you not, sir? Ah, the lightning! We're just kind of using abilities because, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to show off a bunch of different games on this package. But if you like Sega titles, you like the Genesis, you can just experience so many, you know, iconic games that are part of this, like, package here. Including Golden Axe! Oh, it's the little guy, he's got the things. Oh man, he's always so fast. Thank you for the potion. But let's uh, let's see what else is in the, the tray. I just I love that you're in a room. It just it makes it feel, you know, probably like not nostalgic for me like it would for other people. But it's it's just so so cool. But you know, it's Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Spinball. No no, no Sonic 3. It's always weird that they always keep that one out of the package. Streets of Rage, which actually has like an awesome new version. If you guys haven't played that. Uh, the newest version of Streets of Rage. It's pretty top tier. <laughs> Streets of Rage. Should we do Axel? Uh, we'll, do, we'll do Blaze, I mean, come on. Round one, start. 
obviously a, a classic beat them up series. Whoa! <laughs> and I mean, I hope you guys are kind of liking my choices, because there's so many games, right? It's, it's hard to really decide which ones I'm going to kind of show off, and that's why we're doing a bit of a, a lightning playthrough of these old titles. Ugh. Sega! I love that so much. And there's also something like really interesting about like the visual style of this game. Like, I mean, it's, it's old, right? Obviously, but, you know, the movement in the environment, all the little small details, they're kind of fantastic. Like, so many little things going on in this one. And they just seem all clear nowadays, even. She's got sick moves, I tell you. <laughs> Can't even pick up the object. That's pretty stylish. Okay. Let's see what else is next. I wish we had more time to kind of sit here and like show things off, you know what I mean? Fantasy Star. Kid Chameleon. Oh, Vector Man. Virtua Fighter 2. Gonna slide that. I just. That's so cool that they slide it in there. I wish there were other collections where you could kind of see the game slide into the. You know, the cartridge. I don't know who we should be. Fire guy, Akiro! Oh, I keep pressing A and it keeps like backing it out. This is some classic Street Fighter, I tell you. No, not feet, Street Fighter, Virtua Fighter, oh my god, seriously? Sometimes I swear. Oh, when you record these at late hours, you're not as sharp as you usually are, that's for sure. KO! Ah! I mean, I think you can play this game in, like, literally every Yakuza. <laughs> One of the Virtua Fighters. Oh, I ringed out myself? That's lame. Nobody wants to deal with that. There's just so many games to choose from. Alien Soldier. Altered Beast! Columns. Columns is kind of funny. Crackdown. Ah! 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 The original Crackdown. That's funny. Oh, Toe Jam and Earl. Oh, man. They've got some real bangers in this. Shinobi. Should we do Shinobi? Shining Force. Shinobi 3. Oh, only Shinobi 3. That's weird. It's like they pick and juice stuff. Sega. Zero's Resurrection. It's a really gripping story that they're telling here. Ninja Stars. Oh yeah, I forgot you can like fast forward stuff and go faster. That's funny. They really did a lot of cool little things that you could edit in this one, which was so awesome if you're like a fan of these titles. In this intense side-scrolling forest. Anybody else want to die? I wonder if someday we're going to see like original Xbox or like 360 collections where they have like just huge piles of games in like one big mega package. I mean with the style of Game Pass probably not really but I just think that would be so funny. It's like the Gears collection and it's like one little icon and stuff and uh, that would just be crazy. Shadobi! 
It's actually really cool how the, the visuals kind of change as you go through each area. It's a boss fight! That's why it's a good time for me to jump into another game. I feel like I'm missing someone's like favorite title by not like showing everything off. Alex Kidd, I think they're doing a new one of those. Dynamite Heady, Fatal Labyrinth, Flicky. I feel like I have to do Comic Zone. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's calling me to do this one. So this one's kind of fascinating. And he's just kind of moving through the scenes. The movement's really cool, too. Very well animated. You want some more? Wow, oh, that guy's really taking it to me here. And another game. Like, I want to show off as much as possible. Shining Force. I also feel like maybe I should do something a little bit weird. Like, maybe Kid Chameleon? Landstalker? Light Crusader? Uh, let's do Light like Crusader. And I'm sorry if I'm missing one of your all-time favorites. <laughs> I do definitely apologize for that. Light Crusader! Oh! Fast forward! We can't just skip this? That's weird. We can fast forward though. It's like a credits. That's that's really interesting. I don't think I've seen too many games of this genre do it from back then. Looks like it's a bit isometric. I certainly will. It actually got some really nice visuals to it. Yeah, this looks really good. Hmm. What a lovely looking game. Where is her child? I must find them. <gasps> Cows? This is really, really interesting, this title. Huh. I'm actually really intrigued by this one. Look at these visuals. They are actually popping. Huh. See, we got maybe one more weird one. I don't know, Fantasy Star, Wonder Boy, Streets of, Sp oh, Space Harrier, or Toe Jam and Earl. Oh, I feel like Space Harrier. Or Sonic Spinball. Man. This one's cool because of the visual effects on the ground and stuff.
Like, you can be in the sky fighting and stuff. It's, it's just really, really cool. Get ready. Reminds me of Galaga, kinda, but not really. I love Galaga, by the way, if you didn't know that. Galaga is like my jam. Oh! Maybe I'm not the best space harrier. But it, it's just like, it's neat the effect of it, of them trying to like create this sort of thing in like a, you know, it's like sort of a 2D space. It is, it's quite fascinating what they were trying to attempt here. You know, we still get games that are trippy like this. But I hope you kind of like enjoyed this look at these weird old titles, you know, the Sega Genesis and stuff. It's kind of a blast just to take a look at things. There's the big golden axe in the corner, just like seeing all these games. It's a nice little collection. You know, it offers uh, a lot of different experiences that you can have if you want to. You know, if you're fans of these games from back in the day or maybe you've never played them, it's a really good way to check out like a bunch of really awesome titles and really unique experiences. I mean, there's so many little hidden gems in here. Fatal Labyrinth. It's, it's delightful. I mean, it's, it's really, really cool.